Looked up a recipe and had your favorite food cooked for you? If so, you may have followed the steps described in the recipe to prepare your delicious food. This is what an algorithm is, a step-by-step -step procedure for producing a final result. An algorithm is a method for solving a problem or carrying out a task. Algorithms are useful in problem solving and is widely used in daily life. It is used in software development to provide the system with a set of instructions that allow the computer to perform tasks and print the desired output. Facebook, for example, determines which post people prefer as well as the order in which they appear on the Facebook feed. Online shopping, Google search, traffic signals and so on are the other examples. Hey everyone, you are already watching Simply Learn and in today's video, we are going to be learning all about what is an algorithm. If you love watching videos like this, do hit the subscribe button to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. But before we begin with the topic further, I have a simple question for you guys. And the question is, which of the following approaches is used to solve the NQ's problem? And the options are, sorting algorithm, backtracking algorithm, brute force algorithm or greedy algorithm. If you know the answer, please leave them in the comments box below. And the agenda for today's session is, what is an algorithm, the importance of an algorithm and moving ahead, let us know the characteristics of an algorithm. Then. Let us understand the basic steps to write an algorithm, later the types of algorithms and finally algorithm example. So first, let us get started with what is an algorithm. The algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure or set of instructions to be followed to perform certain tasks. For example, algorithm takes input and performs certain operations and finally produce a result. We have importance of an algorithm. First, writing an algorithm helps students develop structured thinking and reasoning skills. Next, an algorithm can help to simplify a complex problem by breaking it down into simple steps. Then, it will increase the efficiency of a computer program and aids in the efficient use of resources. Advancing, we have characteristics of an algorithm. First, well-defined input. As an input, the algorithms require a well-defined value. It might or may not accept input. Then, clear and unambiguous. The set of instructions to be followed must be clear and precise in order to be understood. Then comes language independent. A language independent algorithm is one that can be written in any programming language and still produce the same result. Next, feasible. When a problem can be broken down into simple steps, it becomes feasible and easier to understand the logic. Next. Finiteness. An algorithm must be finite, which means it must have a finite set of countable instructions to execute. Later, well-defined output. The generated output must be well-defined and clear, and it must produce at least one output. Now we know what is an algorithm and its characteristics. Now it's time to know the basic steps to write an algorithm. The first step is take values as an input, then perform operations on the values and finally display the result. Then there are different types of algorithm. So now let's understand each one by one. First we have brute force algorithm. To design an algorithm, this algorithm employs the general logic structure. It is also known as an exhaustive search algorithm because it exhausts all possible solution to a problem and is the simplest approach to the problem. The next type of algorithm is greedy algorithm. Greedy algorithm is easy to set up and executes instantly. It follows the problem solving approaches of finding an optimal result for the whole problem at each stage. Next we have branch and bond algorithm. The branch and bond algorithm divides all feasible solution sets into smaller subsets. They are then evaluated further to determine the solution. It is used to solve problems involving integer programming. Then randomized algorithm. This algorithm reduces running time and it takes input and output and for the defined set of instruction, it follows described steps. This algorithm uses a random number to get the expected result. Then we have backtracking algorithm. Backtracking algorithm to construct solutions by searching through all possible solutions. 
when a solution fails we go back to the point of failure and build on the next solution repeating the process until we find the best solution next divide and conquer the divide and conquer algorithm enables programmers to solve problems by breaking them down into sub problems in order to find the desired solution for the valid input next sorting algorithm the sorting algorithm is used to arrange the data in ascending or descending order finally we have hashing algorithm the hashing algorithm accepts data and converts it using a key element now it's time to look at the algorithm to find the products of two numbers step 1 we have start and in step 2 declare variables n1 n2 and product so here are the variables that is the n1 n2 and product so then in step 3 we are reading values of variables n1 and n2 that means taking values for n1 and n2 and in step 4 multiply n1 and n2 and store the result in the variable product that is whatever we are multiplying of the values of n1 and n2 is multiplied and stored back in the product then in the step 5 display product and step 6 stop so let's see the example so as discussed in the algorithm we have variables declaration and let the values of n1 be 5 and n2 be 10 so using the into operator the value of n1 and n2 is multiplied and the result what we get is stored in the variable called product and finally it will be displayed as an output so here n1 value is 5 and n2 is 10 so we are going to multiply it 5 into 10 is equal to 15 and that is stored in the product and displayed as an output so with this we have come to the end of this session on what is an algorithm I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.